Welcome back, peeps, to part 13 of Sam the Sorcerer 2, with me, Pixie Poison. Uh, in the last video, we were just setting up this torturing device, which we have found on the island. But the generator isn't working yet. But it is now to be working, because we are going to use the whistle. Let's get this torturing on. Ooh, do me! Whoa, that dog runs fast. Okay. Now, I think we need to move the lever. That's it. Right. Now, what we need to do is, we need to leave it for now, because... There is a way to use it. Use it as a distraction, to be precise. So we need to talk to this guy here, the judge. Excuse me. Would you like to enter the competition? A bit quieter there, mate. Sorry, would you like to enter? Yeah. Okay then. Off you go then. No problem. Now for the diversion technique. <laughs> Arr, ooh ha, ya. It's all in the knees. Typical torture sounds. And there he's done it. Time to claim my prize, I reckon. <laughs> what hidden talents will I uncover next? Bungers. And what do you know? We need them to pay this guy. Let's talk to him again. I got the cash, man. Hey. Thank you. You'll be buzzing now, man. Thank you. Right, now, we want to use these caffeine tablets in the decaf. Spice it up a bit. Now, I do believe we have a genie to wake up. So let's go do it. Pick you up a bit. <laughs> right. We'll use the bottle. I think I'll choose to ignore that idea. All right, we'll try and pick it up then. Just a mix-up, that's all. How are you feeling now? Much better. If you could speak a bit more quietly, it would help. Ready for wish granting? Go on, then. Right. We want to be back at Calypso's shop, so choose that. I wish I was back at Calypso's shop. Alikazim. Alikazam. Alikazum. There we are. Right, let's go in. Oh dear. What have they done to Anything you? Anything happened while I was away? <laughs> what on earth are you dribbling about? Dude. It's no good. You're going to have to take that gag off. <sighs> Simon. Stop being a git. It doesn't suit you anyway. Thank God you're back. They've taken Alex. They've taken my granddaughter. So what? How's the wardrobe coming on? 
I've got the mucus aid. You must go and rescue her. I can't imagine what terrible torture she must be going through. Never mind. She's a big girl now. I'm sure she can look after herself. Simon. So let's get the wardrobe powered up, and I can get out of this crazy place. But what about Alex? Sordid has her in his evil clutches. He's going to use her for his perverse experiments. Sordid? It must yes, have been sordid. him who the wardrobe to get you. Typical master villain. Bloody well coming back from the dead just when you least expect it. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I think, given the circumstances, that it's not really any of my business. But... Simon! So I'll just be off, if that's all the same to you. But... Good luck with the baddie bashing. Simon, Pixie is not pleased with you. But what about it? See you around! Get! Ha! I suspect sabotage. I thought you might do this, so huh. I took the liberty of removing a vital component as an insurance policy. <laughs> Clever guy. <laughs> Simon, you deserve that. Stop being a gimp. You can have it back when my granddaughter is safely back here. Alright. Not that I have any choice. Good. Good. Now. I expect you were wondering how you were going to get there. Not really. Allow me we to were. introduce you to Masala. Masala? I when the lion was going to turn up. Mm -hmm. Does he do tricks? He used to be Alex's pet. You can ride on him to Sordid's lair. It's a bit unoriginal, but uh, I suppose it'll do. Good luck, Simon. Just one last thing. Yes? Would you mind untying me, please? You're a wizard, aren't you? Yes, but... Untie yourself, then. <sighs> but... I can't do it without my spell book. Right, Lion. Let's start by establishing who's boss. <laughs> That's cleared that up, then. <laughs> Lead on. And thus began Simon's long and arduous journey through dark and treacherous lands. It was a journey on which he was to encounter many strange and wonderful things. Mm -hmm. Ah, the They're snowy mountains. Cold. They're from the first game. From the frozen wastes to the barren desert, he journeyed day and night. Causing only to scrape the sand out of his nose. Stop complaining, Simon. It's getting rather boring. Braving the murky depths, he ventured into the sea of despair. He. It's all right to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> Finally, his journey took him to the area known only as Hell on Earth. Ooh. I think we should have gone <laughs> left at that last junction. Uh, or maybe right? Hmm. Oh dear. Well, at least the lion still got a smile on. <laughs> this can't be right. We can stuff this texture mapping business. <laughs> yes, lion. Quite. Emerging at last from that terrible place, Simon and his new friend entered the Valley of Doom. Ha-ha! Friend! I wouldn't be here now if he hadn't glued my feet to his back. <laughs> that serves you right for being such a knob, doesn't it? Listen up, you lot! The big boys have sent us this earlier today. Does anyone know who this is? Is it your mum? <laughs> Shut up, Lieutenant Snot. This <sighs> is the wizard who is coming here to kill the big wiz. There's got to be a your mum joke, He's isn't there? Little. Big wiz turned him into squashed pulp. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant, 
I tell you not to say stupid things. You is confined to barracks. Yes, Captain. If you see this human, then report it to me immediately. The big wizard's got special plans for him. Whoa. You in a whole heap of trouble. I wonder if I might be allowed a telephone call? And here we are. In a cell. But luckily, we found Alex. So that's a good start. <laughs> Get the number of that donkey cart. Oh, <laughs> a disc world oh, joke. Anyway. You're in a dungeon in a big castle. A little man in a blue robe brought you here. Hmm, that doesn't sound like old Swordy. What are we going to do? I don't know. Looks like we're stuck here. How about a game of I Spy? Can you untie me first? Are you sure you wouldn't rather? Slip into something more comfortable. Ugh. I'd be a lot happier if I were untied. Yeah. All right then. You're not indulging your schoolboy fantasies here, Simon. Why do I always get the boring ones? Ugh. Anyway, let's try and open the door. Because we need to get out. Surely you mean open door? Weirdo. Oh, whatever. Psychic little gift. What a surprise! It's locked. I could really do with a hair grip or something to get it open. Well, luckily for us. How handy. Alex has got one. Every girl carries a hair clip. I'll have this done in no time. These things are an absolute doddle if you know what you're doing. Is there a problem? Problem? Why should there be a problem? These things can't be done instantly, you know. So why don't you make yourself useful and do some sewing or something? <laughs> Finally. There we go. Can we go now? We? You're staying here so you don't slow me down. But I thought you cared about me. Don't flatter yourself. The hell? Huh? No time to explain. Take this and get out of here. Uh, okay. Hurry! What do I do? Uh, just fiddle with the dials. Uh, okay. Whoa! Quite right. There we go. Not every day something like that happens to you. Still, at least I'm free now. I wonder what happened to the other side. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Alex, which is who you're supposed to be saving. Anyway, let's go right and we'll get to check out the map. Now here's our map. Right. We want the dark woods, I think. Oh, hello I again. How that little mutant got here. It's kind of best to stop wondering why, because. <laughs> got anything to say for yourself? Mm -hmm. Hungry, eh? Hungry. Can I have your magnifier? Huh. Oddball. Hmm. So obviously, we've got to get him something to eat. As you can see, we've reached a bunch of antiques. And we'll start fiddling with them in the next video. So, catch you later, peeps.